It's Auto Fanatic. I just got to shoot this quick video because um, I get a lot of shift knobs in from a lot of you guys. Some guys don't want to buy the brand new GT350 shift knobs. I actually have them in stock and I take brand new knobs and I strip them down, I body work them and modify them and then I wrap them in the real Alcantara like you guys see here. So I've done a lot of these for people all over the world that have GT350s. 350Rs and also standard S550 Mustangs. I've done them on Porsches, BMWs, and everything in between. So if any of you guys are interested in upholstery work, consoles, dash panels, side panels, door panels, whatever you want, feel free to hit me up. Uh, contact me through the Auto Fanatic website, and I'll give you a generalized estimate. Now we're going into winter. I enjoy doing custom upholstery work throughout the entire winter months. It's actually, out of all the fabrication and stuff that I do hands-on, from welding, auto body, uh, electrical work, anything mechanical. The only thing that I do with upholstery that doesn't frustrate me out of any task uh, involved with custom fabrication. I just love doing it. It's actually relaxing. So I just got this knob in from a customer in Virginia Beach, and I just have to show it to you guys. This came off a brand new 2020 GT350, and it looks like he took it off with a channel lock or a vice grip. He totally destroyed the knob. So I already told him, I said, you're going to either heat this up. You got to be very careful getting these things off. Obviously, he thinks that you just peel this back and you just wrap right over it. But now all the damage that is visible, all these deep gouges, I have to sand this out. I have to body work it. And the cost, the upcharge for me to fix this knob, he could have very well just ordered a brand new knob and eliminated the stress and the headaches. So something I want to show you guys, if any of you guys want to send me the knobs or even if you want to take the knob off and do like a ball knob, probably the easiest way to get this off that I found, I'm going to show you right now. Let's get over here. Okay. So on my table, I have strap wrenches. You guys may have seen these uh, in the stores or online. This is a rubber strap wrench. You would pretty much wrap around what you're trying to get off. I'll just try to do this with one hand right here with the camera. So just like that, and then you would kind of go like this. You, you rotate it around, and you would kind of put pressure and unscrew the knob off. Now, a good word of advice, put a microfiber towel over the knob, and I like to use a heat gun and heat this area up just because some cars are easy to get the knobs off, and some of them are extremely hard. And it's obvious that this one on this customer's car was extremely hard to get off. So don't use a channel lock. Don't use vice grips. You're going to crack the knob. And I can't even tell you how many knobs customers have sent me that were split open and cracked. And the situation is if the knob carcass is damaged, even though I could try to repair it, if in the summertime or wintertime it expands and contracts, it could open up again. It could cause the upholstery work that I spent a lot of time doing to unravel and bubble up and just, it's just not the way to do it so you have to make sure that the carcass and the main body of the knob is perfect condition um this one i actually reached out to the customer i already told him that the thing is trash he saw the pictures he apologized he says whatever the upcharge is just bill me uh but i just wanted to show you guys because this is the worst one that i actually had come in i had another one come in from hawaii where the guy split it in three different locations i have no idea how you guys are doing it but if you're going to take the knobs off use a strap wrench. This is probably going to be the safest bet. And if you do mar the leather, it's a lot better to do that than actually cracking the housing and damaging the housing. So just wanted to throw this quick video up. But if you guys want GT350 knobs, I have them in stock. It takes me a couple of days to do them. These things are awesome. The factory knob, uh, the leather gets very sticky in your hands. It doesn't feel very good. And this really complements the Alcantara wrap steering wheel. Now, a lot of guys ask too, does it match the seats? Well, the Alcantara that I use is the same stuff that Porsche, McLaren, Lamborghini, and everybody uses in Europe. It's also the same material that is on the steering wheel. The Miko suede that is on the seats of the GT350 is not the same material. It's got a very similar color shift, but it's not the same. It's, it's a much cheaper grade material. So I match the material and the Alcantara to the steering wheel. So if you guys uh, are interested in any kind of upholstery work, uh, you go to my website. You can see some of my work that I do. Please hit up the Auto Fanatic web shop and send me an inquiry today. And for anybody with a GT350 that wants a knob, be careful taking them off. If you do trash them, please let me know before you send it to me. And if you do break them and I have to repair them, there will be a charge. And sometimes that charge 
may equal or exceed the cost of a brand new knob. So, so that's pretty much it. If you guys uh, need anything, whether it's automotive car care from Auto Fanatic, anything custom upholstery, fabrication, whatever, even if you guys are somewhat local and you want performance work done in your cars, send me an inquiry through the Auto Fanatic website. If it's something that interests me, uh, I'd love to have you come down to the shop and we'll, we'll work it out and we'll do it for you. So please visit auto-fanatic.com. Go into the performance and custom section between uh, the custom Brembo brake calipers that I do, custom upholstery, uh, various other services that I offer as well. And don't forget, uh, full stock of Auto Fanatic car care till the end of this year. And I'll see you guys soon. Please like, subscribe, and share. And stay tuned for the next automotive video.